Yes, um, first of all, um, I knew Freddie Gray, you know, and he was a, a wonderful person. He liked to laugh, you know, crack jokes, you know, things like that. That's why it hit close to home. How did you know him? Uh, just neighborhoods, just being outside. Baltimore is really small, so, you know, everybody know everybody. And so when you hear that in that moment, according to police, they saw him, they locked eyes. It's a high crime neighborhood. This, they see it in their eyes as a constitutional stop. He ran unprovoked the other direction. What do you make of all those details, knowing police as you do? Uh, they, they, they corrupted, man. I'm not gonna say all of them, but 90% of them is corrupted. You know, they're, they know, they know people in the neighborhood or whatever. They know who's doing what and what's going on in the neighborhood. And it's just, it's just sad. How can you just lock somebody up and next thing you know, his spinal, spinal cord is, is fractured or, you know what I mean, just broken, period. Like, it just don't make no sense. Going back to your story and, and that of Freddie Gray, who you say you know, and a number of people in these Baltimore neighborhoods, you know, one of the big themes of these conversations has been why, why, or why are these uh, young men, in most cases, running from police? You know, that's when the, the, the situation escalates. And we've heard from Freddie Gray's uh, family's lawyer saying, well, he should have run faster. That was the only mistake, you know, he made that night. I mean, how, how would your 25-year-old self, knowing Baltimore as you do, how, what would you have done? Uh, I probably would have took off too, but because there's no win with them, you know, they could, like I was reading um, and looking on CNN or whatever, and... But doesn't that make the situation was, worse, Felicia? I mean, yeah, but not all the time, because if you stand there, they, they gonna say you did anything or whatever they wanna say. They going, whatever, whatever they say, whatever the police say, y'all is gonna believe it. You know, so they, cause they have the badge. So if he ran, it probably was a reason why. You know what I mean, they probably was already, the police probably was already in a angry, um, a angry force already. So, you know what I mean? We don't know why he ran, but me, if it, it, it all depends on how the situation, how, how it occurred. But this is all we want to know is how did he get his spinal cord broke? You know, like that don't make sense. They say something about a, a pocket knife that wasn't um, not um, illegal. You know, you had your legal um, sizes that you could carry around. You know, all right, it's a pocket knife. Why? Why is why is spinal cord broke? Why? 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 Why this happen?